Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol at Big Cat Rescue and this morning the four new cats arrived from the wildlife way station. The way station had closed after more than 40 years in existence and the California Department of Fish and Wildlife is placing all of the animals, about 400 animals, in facilities. Um, I think they said that there were 17 cats still there when we were there but all but two of them I believe have been spoken for to go to new homes and the last two we said that we would be willing to take. We have to make a, another trip back out to California later on. But the four that arrived are, the oldest one is Tom Tom. She's a female bobcat, very, very feisty. Everybody on the trip was calling her Grandma TT. I hope that's silly pet name. Marie, can you switch the three, please? Doesn't stick. Um, I really like it when we can keep the name they have, and I think Tom Tom is a very nice name for her. So anyway, um, she's 20 years old. I thought she was 19, but the health certificate said that she was 20. There is a huge bobcat named Shiloh. I thought he was going to be a 10-year-old, but his health certificate says that he's 11. And then there is a feisty little bobcat named Filmo. He's three years old and a Savannah cat named Mouser who is 15 years old. And they all got here about six o'clock this morning and went out to their new enclosures and they are all checking them out. Um, they did much better than I expected coming into a new place. They don't seem as rattled as you would think that they might be after two days on the road in a van. I also okay. have a really chatty on the radio today. I also have a coordinator report from Sue Messinio who says it was a fantastic Friday, quite warm, but we had a great group of volunteers and interns. Fred coordinated with me today and did a great job. It was so nice to see Mary Jerome back. A big thank you to Honey for doing the keeper tour and making blood sickles. Abby, Maz, Carla, Mary, Cassidy, Sue R, Mary Lou, Barbie, and Sharon fed the cats and cleaned their cages. Maz did food prep before lunch. Boy, are we going to miss Maz. I don't know where Maz is going. She was an intern and then she came back as a green shirt. So I'm guessing she must be moving out of state if she's not going to be with us. You can see photos and videos of all of our updates at bigcatrescue.org.